welcome to Unrefined Farming. Today we are going to talk about how to do an assessment on your goat and check for their vital signs. It is really important to practice this skill set before you need to use it in an emergency situation. I've had Cosmos and Luna for one year and I've had to do a health assessment on each of them at a time when they were experiencing illness and it can be quite challenging. So it's really useful to work on this assessment on your assessment skills so that you're ready when a situation of illness comes up. Let me show you how to do an assessment on your goat. So I'm here in the paddock with Luna and Cosmos and Romeo and we're just going to talk about taking vital signs. So when you take vital signs for a goat you want to do things in a specific order. The first thing that you want to do is just observe your goat from afar. You can just look at them and check out their energy levels, see if they're eating or not eating, and try to assess any unusual behaviors because that will give you a good picture of what's going on with your goat. The second thing that you're going to do is um, catch your goat um, to take the vital signs. So when you catch your goat, Wherever you're going to assess the vital signs, you want it to be in an area where they feel comfortable and safe. And... Okay, take two. <laughs> when you're taking their vital signs, you want to take it in an area where they feel comfortable and safe. And so it might be around some other animals. If you can isolate them, that's often helpful but it's not required. So I'm gonna catch Luna and I always keep treats in my pocket because that is usually a good way to catch a goat when stressed out. And the first thing that I'm gonna assess is her heart rate. So to do that I'm going to count her heartbeats and you're gonna just put your hand on their left side and you might have to feel around a little bit to figure out where the best place is to feel her heart rate, but it'll definitely be on the left side, <laughs> potentially like under the armpit. That's where I find is the best place for Luna. So I can feel it now and I'm just going to count for one full minute. Ben's using my phone to record me, but I would have my phone out here timing a minute so that I know how long to record the vital signs for. And her heart rate does feel normal. Now the next thing to count is respirations. Respirations is really tricky to count. <laughs> it's really tricky to count on a, on a goat um, without a stethoscope, but it's possible to do. So what you want to do is with them calm in front of you is just put your hand on their side and watch really closely and you can see their chest wall expanding and contracting. So it's probably hard to see in the video, but I can see that her respirations are about 20 uh, breaths per minute. The next thing that I'm going to assess is her rumen sounds. And that way you're just going to put your hand between her, her hip and her rib cage. And if you set your hand there, you should be able to feel a couple of sounds a minute. It's very obvious. When you feel it, it's like a, it's a gurgling sound, like you can even hear it and you can definitely feel it. And I can feel a couple of those right now. So you do the vitals in this order because you don't want to stress the goat out. And the last thing you're going to do is take their temperature um, in their rectum, which is definitely, Romeo, seriously, hey, dude. It's hard not to laugh. <laughs> um, which is definitely something that will stress the goat out and it'll affect their other vital signs. <laughs> um, and it'll affect their other vital signs. So to take the temperature, 
Um, I've got, you want to have with you a rag, some water-based lubricant, and a thermometer. And you can just use a regular digital thermometer that you can get at the drugstore. So you're just going to put some lubricant on the thermometer. It is hard to do this with other animals around. Cosmos. <laughs> okay, and the best way to do temperature is to actually straddle the goat. Okay, Luna. You're gonna have to come in a little bit closer maybe. And lift up the tail. And then, this might seem like something silly to mention, but on a doe, you've got their rectum and their vagina, and you don't want to put the thermometer in the wrong orifice. So it's good to know that the rectum is always on top. So her vaginal opening is right there, and this is her rectum. So we're going to put in the... It's okay, girl. So we're going to put in the thermometer and turn it on. I know, sweetie. I know. No, no, horses are moving. <laughs> and turn it on. And it'll just take about 10 seconds. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. And then it usually beeps when it's done. So hers is 103 degrees Fahrenheit, which is on the high side of normal. The horse is eating my head. <laughs> <laughs> so the very last thing that you're gonna do after taking the goat's vital signs is just do a quick scan from head to toe of the goat, basically to check for injuries and any obvious sign of infection. So you can just do like a quick feel, look down their legs, see if there's any cuts, Check out their belly and check out their back legs. Just basically lay your eyes on the whole body of the goat. And you also want to assess sort of the size of their abdomen because if they're experiencing bloat, they will be quite big, like noticeably bigger than usual. And so that's something that you want to just pay attention to. The size of the goat's abdomen does change throughout the day. Like often if they're hungry in the morning, they'll start kind of looking a little bit skinny. And then after they've been eating all day, they're definitely a little bit rounder. But they do have, um, if they're bloating, they're definitely quite big. And I've had this experience one time with Cosmos um, when he was experiencing bloat and it was quite obvious. His, his belly was very round. And there's other clinical signs that go along with that, but that's just one thing to, to check out is is the size of their abdomen. So now that you've completed a quick assessment on your goat, let's talk about the normal values for vital signs. For temperature, the normal values are 101.5 to 103.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So if your goat is on the warm side, that can be indicative of an infection. It can also mean that they're just suffering from heat stress and because it's a hot day. So for example, Luna's temperature today was 103 degrees and it was quite hot out. For respirations, you would expect them to be breathing 12 to 24 breaths per minute. Their heart rate, you'd be expecting it to be 70 to 80 beats per minute. And for rumen sounds, you want to hear about one to two sounds per minute. When you are finished doing your assessment, you'll want to record your findings in a notebook. Later on, I transfer my notes into a binder um, where I keep the medical records of all of my animals. So I have a specific sheet, a medical record just for Luna, so I would record her vital signs and assessment findings in that medical record. It's really handy to have a medical record for future reference. In addition, if you are phoning a vet for a consultation, about your goat, 
it they're going to want to know those values of vital signs especially and your assessment findings and so then you're going to want to um, have those values available to report to them thank you so much for watching unrefined farming i hope you learned something useful and we will see you in the next video